Hello everybody, it's day 35 of my 100 days of challenge and today I am going to talk about working from home. I've been working from home now for about six years and it all sounds very nice and to be honest I would say 75% of the time it is very nice working from home but there are its upsides and there are a few downsides. So if you're ever thinking about working from home, watch this video and hopefully it'll give you a better insight about how your life will change if you decide to start working from home. The first thing I should really say is working from home is basically a luxury really. I don't have to travel anywhere, I don't have to leave the house, I don't have to commute anywhere, I don't have to worry about petrol money, I don't have to worry about anything really apart from getting out of bed and uh, getting to my office. This is my office here, obviously. This is where I do most of my day-to-day um, -day stuff, my uh, bread and butter work if you like. This is, again, another luxury. Up to about two years ago, in my old house, I literally did work in the cupboard <laughs> under the stairs. <laughs> it was just one of those things where I was given the opportunity to work from home and there was just nowhere for me to work. So the only sort of space we had was space under the stairs, a little bit like Harry Potter's room. <laughs> So that's uh, so that was awful. I and mean, I'll, I'll be working like this, you know, crouched over, you know, hardly any room. So so that was, you know, I did that for like four years doing that, and that's I can't believe I actually worked like that for four years. And now I have my own office and a downstairs study that I use for doing other work in. So I feel very very grateful now. So I can't complain. You know, I can more or less do as I please really. I mean, obviously my work has to be done. Obviously it's always, always a deadline, so it's not a case of working when I want, how I want. So obviously the upsides are quite obvious really. You know, you work in your own home, tea and coffee when you like, food when you like, no major overheads. But there are a few downsides to working from home too. I would say the major downside for me is the is the unsocial nature of working from home. In my previous jobs, I've always worked with a lot of people around, whether I was a prison officer, whether it's working for the city council, there's always a lot of people around, open air, open plan. So now suddenly working in my own office, in my own home with nobody around, is a bit was a bit of a shock at first. Very, very strange. But obviously I don't have to put up with any annoying colleagues. <laughs> Uh, but sometimes it does get a bit lonely. Uh, sometimes you do find yourself working in these four walls uh, for 14 hours a day, not speaking to a single person really. Uh, and sometimes you can find yourself going four or five days without actually leaving the house. So yeah, there is a unsocial aspect to working from home. But I think the pros more than outweigh the, the negatives really in working from home. Obviously I've got uh, three children at home as well, so uh, I'm always here if I'm needed to pick them up from school or take them to school, or if there's anything needs doing very, very quickly in the house. But obviously that, that comes just downside too you know sometimes you're, you're working hard and because you're working from home you know sometimes a wife and kids just presume that you can just stop work and do the hoovering or you know just quickly um, help out with some housework i'm still working you know it's just an office at home so if i was working in an office elsewhere i can't just stop everything come home and do the ironing or do the hoovering so you have to be very very disciplined sometimes to make sure that you get your work done i mean at the moment you know i'm doing this vlog now uh, in between two other jobs you know, i've just finished in one job i've now got to quickly do this vlog for five minutes and um, save it on dropbox and I'll probably edit it later tonight so i'm hoping my day 35 of my 100 days vlog challenge will be on time the editing style that i'm getting used to now is quite fast you know, I'll just do the zooms in and out and nothing too fancy at the moment because I'm just too busy to get some real content on my channel right now. I'm hoping over the next three or four days I should be able to get out and about. Probably when this good weather stops, <laughs> that, that's, that'll be when I get a bit of time to get out of the house. But for the time being, just going to see me doing this type of vlog probably for the next three or four days. So apologies for that, but it's just life and right? And before you go, make sure you check out some of my links in the description below. There's a few of us now trying to do this 100 days vlog challenge. I think there's about four or five of us actually left in the challenge. I think there's a few people are still participating, but the actual 100 days in a row, it's probably about four or five maybe now are actually are still on target to complete the course. And it's very, very difficult, very, very hard. As you can see, I'm struggling to get real good content online without interfering with my day-to-day -day working. So it's one of those things where uh, it's definitely a challenge. I'm hoping to get to 100 days. I'm hoping that it's not always gonna be like this. But life is life.